Hi friends, this is Fire on Pop, and this is the Russian Nagant pistol M1895, uh, that, and this is exactly the way I got it and what comes with it. Okay, so for starters, it comes with a screwdriver, uh, and I guess this uh, is used for field breakdown. It also comes with a cleaning rod. I guess you tear off a piece of clothing and use that to, uh, to clean. Uh, once you open up the uh, holster it comes with, there is a pouch to store extra ammo. Uh, we'll hold two sets of uh, seven rounds, which is uh, what the gun uses. So let's take a quick look at the gun. Okay, uh, let's go over some of the features and what this gun start at the uh, at the muzzle end. Uh, you're going to see a uh, front sight that's adjustable for windage. Okay, in the barrel. Now, coming straight back, one of the things you're going to notice, and let's see if we can get one of the things I'm hoping you can notice here is the gap between the uh, the barrel and the cylinder. And that's when I first saw this gun, I said, uh, gee, that's a big gap. And then I was instructed on how this gun works. But let's go over some of the other detail here. Uh, this is the loading gate. And that's how you would load your cartridges. Uh, this Now this is really stiff, I found. Uh, and I'm hoping to clean that up, as you'll see here in a minute. But this is how you you uh, eject the cartridges one by one. Uh, and when you're done with that loading gate, you push it back in and secure that. Okay, that's the loading gate. I'm on this side of the pistol, and you'll see numerous different markings. Let's see if we can focus in on that. Uh, this uh, star with an arrow in uh, 1843 is uh, when, the, when the gun was made. Uh, this was in. Uh, it's imported by PW Arms. Uh, that's the imported stamp. It says 762 by uh, 38R. And then there's the serial number. You know, also a serial number up here. Uh, there's markings of uh, where the parts were made on each part of the gun. The grips are wooden. Also has a lanyard loop on the end. Okay. And now the gun is a single and double action. So now, I don't know if you just you caught what just happened. We do that again, nice and slow. As you pull the hammer back, the cylinder rotates and moves forward, and it seals between the barrel and the cylinder. And the cartridge is truly unique as well. Uh, let's see if we get you to see that. Uh, but that is. You can see the projectile is is, uh, is recessed, and there's a, a beveled edge on that end. So when it does fit inside, this. When it does, when it fits inside, you can see it actually sits out from from here, and when when it. Uh, when it's cocked, it forms a pressure seal. Okay, so there is no gap, and that cartridge is sealed inside that cylinder and barrel. Okay, to give you the maximum pressure. Really careful here. Okay. Um, I don't. 
don't know how that's going to eject when it's expanded. We'll find out. Uh, okay. And like I said, trying to cover all the points. It is single double action now. Now this this is a really it's a 20 pound trigger pull, which is really quite difficult to do. But don't forget what the gun is doing. It's it's not only pulling the hammer back, it's rotating the cylinder and then moving the cylinder forward. And it's got all those uh, uh, spring tensions to overcome. So uh, it's a real hefty, hefty uh, double action pull. Uh, single action is much better with this gun and much more accurate. And we'll see that when we get to the range. But uh, you can see here as well, there's more marking. So, Again, I have not cleaned this gun. We're going to do that now and uh, take it apart and see how it goes. But uh, this is the Russian Nagant revolver uh, M1895, and we're going to take it apart. So let's start some disassembly. Uh, now, I haven't done this before, so. The first thing we want to do is that, from what I understand. And now this comes out somehow, which is what holds. Now, in order to remove the cylinder pin and remove the cylinder, when you bring this gate forward, there's two aligning notches. And those two notches have to be perfectly aligned. And it's very stiff, and I'm hoping to correct that when I clean it. I'm hoping you can see those two notches right there. They have to be aligned and then the pin comes straight out. And out comes the cylinder. And there you go. There you have it. It's broken down. So we're going to start cleaning here right now. Светали яблони и груши, поплыли туманы над рекой. Выходи, она брикатюша, на высокий берег на крутой. Выходила, песня заводила. Okay, so reassembly. Should be quite easy. Let's make sure since I've messed with this that those two marks are lined up. That's that still a lot tighter than I'd like it to be. There you have the finished product, cleaned up, feel a lot safer now uh, taking that to the range and shooting it. Uh, seems to be working fine. Uh, like I said, that pull is, is really tough. Uh, I don't know if we can get a better look at the, the markings now. I guess this gun was made in 1943. So, uh, yeah, this that's one of the interesting facts in this gun. It, it's still being used today, not as widely as it was during World War II, uh, but uh, this gun is still being used today, from what I understand. So, there is the Russian Nagant pistol, 1895 design. And uh, we're going to take it to the range and put some lead down range.
Okay, see you there. Okay, here we are at the range and we are going to load her up. So, these are the cartridges. Go in. Here we go, first firing of the Russian Nagant. Okay, so unloading, again, you can use the, the bar, but I also noticed that uh, the round sticks out just a little bit, so. That's what I was wondering if they, if they uh, swell. Some of them fall out, and some of them do not. Here you go, unload it. I'm going to load it back up, and uh, and do some double action firing. And I'm hoping you can see the uh, the cylinder moving forward. Wow, that is a tough double action pull. Well, as you're seeing here, the double action trigger pull is a good, good 20 pound pull, uh, making it very difficult with the wow. finger operation, at least for me. I've seen some people do it, but uh, this gun is very stiff. Uh, it's just go to one point, and when you're seating that cylinder, it, uh, it's, it's pretty near, for me, impossible with one finger. I have to do a two-finger operation to pull that trigger. So, uh, this is a single-action gun if you want any kind of accuracy, and as you'll see at the target, Here is something I didn't notice before, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but on the edge of the cylinder is the serial number of the gun. There you have it, friends. The uh, Russian Nagant 762x38R. And uh, once again, cartridge looks like that. And it's interesting if you put them side by side, the spent cartridge versus the the new one. How the flute is gone.
This is Fire on Pop. Be safe out there, and God bless. Bye now.